What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are back here today with another deck profile, and this time, it's for effectively Outstanding Dog Mary FTK. Uh, well, realistically, this is like, uh, Machine FTK, uh, you're essentially just gonna be looping, uh, Dot Superdora. We will go through a little bit of a combo at the end of this video as I show you how to do, essentially, the combo, but yeah, I like to call this one, uh, Outstanding Dog Mary FTK. This is the reason why I was collecting all of the Outstanding Dog Marys. Uh, during all of the box openings and stuff. Remember, um, if you do want to send in your Outstanding Dog Marys, send them to Good Games Wollongong uh, in Australia. Uh, Google will help you out with the place to send those. But uh, yeah, send your Outstanding Dog Marys there. It will be funny. Uh, and yeah, this is effectively FTK. Uh, inspiration for this came from, I think it was a TCG player article, uh, where it was a guy topped a regional playing this list. And I was like, that's interesting. I want to play it. And it is very fun to play. It is effectively gambling. Uh, there will be a video coming up on the channel next week where I experience gambling in its highs and lows. Uh, that'll be in a match, of course, but we will get into the deck profile for this one. Before we do get started on this one, though, it is brought to you, of course, by YourPlayMat.com, who got us our beautiful Nolan TCG Extra Deck sleeves. These are available on YourPlayMat.com, as well as you can get custom sleeves and custom playmats, so whatever you need for the current format. Uh, there is an affiliate link in the description down below that does get you a little bit of a discount on your order. Also, enter the code uh, NOLAN10YP for 10% off your order. Also kicks back a little bit to the channel, so everything will be very much appreciated. If you're shopping there, you're getting custom sleeves, custom playmats down. Make sure to enter our code at checkout. But let's get on into this deck profile. Okay, so starting us off, we have the card that guarantees you don't deck out, and that is one copy of Outstanding Dog Mary. Uh, when it goes to the graveyard, place it on the bottom of your deck. Pretty plain and simple. How does this facilitate your FTK? Well, uh... Every other monster we play cannot be summoned. So, uh, well, can't be summoned unless it's by its own, like, special summoning effect. So, effectively, this is Reasoning and, uh, Monster Gate, like, those kinds of OTKs from back in the day. Except this, yeah, is just a, a straight FTK. There are some variants and stuff you can do to OTK going second, but the Mary is core to it. You want to mill the Mary as late as possible and then OTK your opponent. Or FTK your opponent, I guess, is the best way to go. Uh, of course, the card that is going to be doing primarily your FTKing in terms of summoning itself back is uh, three copies of Machina Ruin Force or Machina Ruin Force, however you want to pronounce it, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. Banish level 12 from your graveyard or mon machine monsters who are 12 or greater, summon it back. Uh, it's a 10. You make Doras with this. Apologies for any banging you hear in the background. Uh, family is, of course, home. Uh, and then we go into the next card. Uh, this is typically what you're going to be using for the Monster Gate. Uh, so it is three copies of Machina Cannon. Uh, you're going to be discarding a machine, summoning it to the board, activate Monster Gate, mill. Uh, this is, yeah, typically your Monster Gate target, um, or the Link monster you make off at Standing Dog Mary. That is what you're going to be milling through your entire deck for. And yeah, that's basically the monsters that summon in this deck. Uh, next off, we go into our big machines. Uh, I am missing some of these, so I will tell you what you should be playing. Uh, so we are playing two copies of the Mechlord Astro. Uh, the Mechlord Astro Dragon Triskillian should be the third one. Uh, weirdly, I could not find any of these commons. I know I have them somewhere. I dug through a, a whole ton of bulk, didn't find any. I found five of this ultra rare, none of this common. So I went and bought packs before locals, um, pulled two. Also then pulled another ultra rare. So I pulled from eight packs, pulled two of these and two ultra rares. That's not how ratios are supposed to work. But hey, uh, that's what you have. So yeah, three of the copy, three copies of Mechlord Astro. Uh, then you want to play three copies of TG Halberd Cannon. I didn't have that, so we played two copies of Force. Um, realistically, as long as these are six or higher machines that can't be summoned at all, uh, you're Gucci. You're all sweet. You're Gucci. Um, I said where to say it. Didn't say it. Said it anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. That's effectively what you're doing here. The reason why you want to play 12s is because you don't have to banish multiple. Uh, it just reduces the amount of cards you need to get into Grave before you can successfully FTK your opponent. Uh, then we go into the Drytrons after that. So we play three copies of Quandrids. Again, 12 Machine. And two copies of Draconids uh, because I need the third. I only could find two of them. I managed to trade them before Locals. Um, yeah, so we're playing two of that and then the one copy of Magic Key Make Mortar. I'm fairly sure I have another Draconid somewhere here. I just need to find it. Um, yeah, just couldn't find it in time, I guess. Uh, then that is it for our monster lineup. So you can't play any monster-based hand traps in this deck uh, simply because if you mill them, it ruins the combo. So yeah, uh, this is our monster-based lineup that 
you dramatically can't summon. Let's go into the spells, though. Uh, the spells are where the magic happens. So, of course, number one, reasoning. Uh, your opponent declares one. Uh, you just send the Absent Dog Mary, put it on bottom of the deck anyway. Uh, then after that, we have three copies of Monster Gate. Of course, you're just going to be milling as much as possible. These four cards are essentially what facilitates everything you do. You just want to mill, 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 summon out Standing Dog Mary. Uh, Mary, then you use for Link Plays. Uh, we'll get into it, though, as we go through the combo. After that, three copies of Left Arm's Offering. Again, uh, you're going to be getting Reasoning with this. That is the one reason you're playing this. Uh, you just want to discard your hand, get to Reasoning, mill, 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 mill. Uh, then we have, after that, three copies of Marketer Redeployment. Of course, you're going to be using this to add uh, your Monster Gate target and, of course, your Ruin Force. You have the Ruin Force and the Cannon. Uh, discard the Ruin Force, summon the Cannon. Then you get your Monster Gate off. You also have guaranteed at least one Ruin Force in your graveyard. Uh, after that, we have three copies of Performer Power Popper Up. Uh, discard three, draw three. Take burn damage. Doesn't really matter. It is up to three cards. Um, then you draw that many. Then you can special. Uh, guess what, though? You're not going to be special. You're going to be taking that burn damage, and then you're going to be just drawing and discarding, drawing and discarding. That's all you want to do with these cards. Uh, next off, if you are essentially stuck, uh, you're going second. You slap down a Mystic Mine, you wait. Uh, this deck cannot out a Barrier Statue in the main deck. Um, this is how you hopefully are going to play through your Tri Brigade matchup. Uh, if they get to Imperial Order, though, you're screwed. Uh, so just learn to live with that. Uh, hopefully a lot of bird up decks aren't maining that at the moment. They don't think to side it. Uh, so you, then you slap down a Mystic Mine and then, yeah, good times. Uh, it did come up once that my opponent sided in the Imperial Order. That sucked. Uh, and then we go to our power one ofs after that. So we have one copy of Instant Fusion. This is for getting to Millennium Eyes to stop hand traps. One called by the Grave. Same reason. Stop hand traps. Uh, one card destruction. Discard your hand. Draw. Of course, you want to try and see as much as possible in this deck. Uh, one copy of One for One gets you to Outstanding Dog Mary. And then one copy of Terraforming to get you through to the Mystic Mine. And then the 40th card in the main deck is one copy of Machina Overdrive. Uh, you're going to be using the graveyard effect of this to essentially get you more resources back so that you can FTK more easily, I guess. Okay, now we have the extra deck. So, of course, we have one copy of Link Karibo, and I guess the other level one is one copy of Relinquished Anima. We'll split those apart, make that a little bit nicer. Uh, you're going to be using this just to get your Epstein Dog Mary at the bottom of the deck before you go into a Monster Gator or a Reasoning. If you have access to the Mary, of course. Uh, then we have our Link 2. This one is very important. It is one copy of Akashic Magician. You're going to be using this to put your Dora back into the extra deck. Uh, one copy of Nightmare Phoenix. Um, just generic back row removal. You can also get a discard off, get those Rune Forces into Graveyard. Same as the uh, Nightmare Unicorn. And then one copy of Access Code comes through after that. Um, rarely will you get to the Access Code. You can do the Access Code. That's no problems at all. But it is rare that you will actually get to the Access Code. Um, I don't know why you would typically go for it, because if you're going to the access code, you can normally just burn your opponent to death, which is pretty funny. Uh, and then we have the one fusion. It is one copy of Millennium Eyes Restrict. And then we go into our XEs. So we have one copy of Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus. Uh, this is just here for the situations where necessarily something doesn't go right. You're still going to be attacking with an XEs, and then you can Zeus them. Uh, then we have our spider lineup. So we've got one Ravenous Tarantula, one Pain Gainer, and one Seven Sins. Uh, again, just gets you through to your Zeus package if you need to do that. They also do cute things here and there. And then we have our trains. So we have, of course, the one copy of Juggernaut Lieb for pushing through OTKs. For some reason, if you choose to do that. And then we have one, two, and three copies of Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max to burn your opponent. You want to resolve this four times, and then you win the duel. Okay, so now we are here for the test hand portion of the video. Um, that's a all right hand, I guess. Uh, we're going to be activating the card destruction, discarding the four. Let's try and okay. We've seen the reasoning, and we've seen the one for one. We just need a monster. We don't. Oh, we get a monster though. We have the machinery deployment. Uh, so yeah, this is this is pretty much just straight game. Uh, so you're going to go. Activate Machinery Deployment. Uh, the fact that we have the one-for-one one guarantees it. Uh, we're going to add Cannon, and we're going to add Ruin Force. Uh, then we have the monster for the one-for-one, one, so we can activate the one-for-one, one, discarding the Ruin Force. That will get us our Outstanding Dog Mary. Uh, then we're going to Link 1 with the Mary to go into our Link Karibo. 
Uh, Mary's effect will now trigger, putting itself onto the bottom of the deck. And now you can choose to go the reasoning of the monster gate. Your opponent will know what you're doing, so probably don't use the uh, the reasoning in this situation. Uh, we'd use the monster gate to burn off the link rebo. And then we're going to mill every card in our deck but the Outstanding Dog Mary, which will then reveal and summon. Uh, and now we have essentially set up the FTK. Uh, we have every single card in our graveyard that we need access to. Uh, we have the cannon in hand, but that doesn't matter at all. Uh, we are now just going to start playing. So you want to keep the zone under your extra monster zones unoccupied, uh, because you will need that space. So we're going to start off by banishing out the first level 12, summon a Ruin Force, and then we will banish out another level 12. This is just so funny, the way this works. Uh, and then just summon another Ruin Force. Ruin Force not once per turn. Uh, and seeing Dog Mary is going to get banned. Just wait for it to be on the ban list. Uh, that cute little doggo. You wouldn't ban this doggo. Uh, so then we're going to Gustav Max here. Burn for 2k. And then we have more Ruin Forces. So we're going to summon another Ruin Force. Getting rid of... I guess you need to get rid of two in that situation. Uh, you can't even see what I just banished anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, I would zoom out. But this table's a mess. Of massive amounts of deck building. We can zoom out a little. You can still see a little bit of the mess floating around. We've got sleeves, we've got decks, everything. Uh, so now you're going to summon another Ruin Force, of course. Uh, you're going to overlay them both for the second Gustav Max. Detach, burn for another 2k. So your opponent's taking 4k at this point. Uh, link 2 here with the Mary and the Gustav for your Akashik. Uh, Mary's going to go to the bottom of the deck, of course. You're not going to deck out. And the Akashik's going to return the Gustav Max to the extra deck. Uh, then we can summon more Ruin Forces, of course. Banishing out more Drytron Rituals. Summon another one. Banish out another Drytron Ritual. Overlay them again. Can really go anywhere here as we summon another Gustav Max. Detach. Burn for another 2k. You definitely just get the point of where this is going here. We're just going to slap down those last two Gustav Maxes. Banish out two more level 12s. And then we're going to overlay for another Gustav Max. And then we're going to burn for game. Uh, say if your opponent imperms you on one of these Gustav Maxes, because they're like, maybe if I imperm one of them, we can play around it. Uh, you just go Link for Unicorn. Unicorn effect. Shuffle back the Gustav Max. Then you can just keep going. You make more. Uh, this is also the reason why we play the Overdrive, because uh, Overdrive can banish itself and put more of them back, which is just absolutely bonkers. But uh, that does wrap us up here for the video for this one. So as always, uh, do remember to drop down below and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I did forget to say that at the start of the video. And as always, uh, I've been Ben from Nolan TCG. Comment down below any changes you would make to the list if you were making them. And has a good, have a good afternoon, everybody. Stuffed it up right at the end.